Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you do not go today. It feels a bit weird filming in a minute because you won't know, but I've actually been away and I haven't filmed a video in a week. So this feels a bit strange, but I'm ready to get back into the zone. Someone requested a video and they wanted a look at using the Macaroons palette. Yeah, this palette, I remember when I looked at it last time, I thought it was gonna be a lot more brighter, but I haven't really looked at it in a long time and it just looks quite toned down. So yeah, I might mix in a brown into the crease, put some blue on the lid and maybe like a greenish inner corner kind of look. So let's go with that. But yeah, that is just gonna be my video today. I'm just gonna do a get ready with me with a throwback palette. I hope you like these kind of videos. I do do a lot of throwback palette tutorials. I like to go back into my palette collection, see what I haven't used in a while and just play with it. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe. So yeah, this is just going to be a little chit chat get ready with me, kind of like a catch up, catch up. As I have been away, I haven't been abroad, I've just done a UK staycation to Whitby and you know what, I detoxed from everything. I made sure I uploaded videos so I didn't need to think about YouTube and I can just switch on my phone and just do like a social media detox and I feel amazing for it. Like literally if you have the opportunity to go anywhere detox from your phone social media importantly and you'll feel so good after it um can't recommend it enough to everyone and me and my boyfriend both did it um and it was just very much needed so all the makeup products that i'll use today i'll list it in the description box below but i did just use the neutrogena hydro boost hydrating lotion off camera loving this stuff i have recently just brought bondi sands tanning mist because i kind of want to look tanned i also use the revolution eye injection under eye serum off camera too i put this on before the moisturizer i'm gonna go in my new eye primer which is the revolution ultimate eye base i've been really liking this also speaking of detox i also detoxed from makeup now is that a thing i wasn't actually prepared to do that i actually prepared my makeup travel bag and I thought, you know what, I'll wear that on that day. It just wasn't that kind of holiday. It was a lot of walking involved, a lot of SPF involved, let me just say, a lot of SPF top up. So I was just thinking, you know what, what is the point of pouring this makeup on if I've just got to top it up with SPF and, this, and then disrupt the base? So I didn't bother with makeup either. So I detoxed from makeup. And you know what, it kind of felt great. Like... And the place I went, did I mention where I went? I went Whitby. Um, it just wasn't the type of place. It wasn't the vibe to not really care about, you know, makeup and stuff. It was just nice, relaxing holiday. Um, my dog enjoyed it as well. I might pop up some pickies. My dog went on her first boat ride. She went on her first bus ride. <laughs> and she hated the boat. I mean, she was okay, but it just felt like a, like a massive bathtub for her, and she hates having baths, let me tell you. I think it's to do with huskies, I don't know. Are they scared of the cold sea? I don't know. She loves fish, but she hates, she hates water. <laughs> She's a scared of cat when it comes to water. But yeah, there was a lot of walking involved. We, we ranked up about 25,000 steps a day. So it wasn't relaxing in that sense. It was jam-packed full every day. We ended up walking somewhere. Um, we, we ate out every single night. The only time we were in the apartment was, you know, to sleep. So it was good in that sense that we felt like we've done everything that we could. Okay, so let's get on to this eye. I'm gonna start off in the inner corner. I'm gonna go with dessert. I remember I liked using this in the inner corner, so. But yeah, it is amazing just to sit down and film with makeup because I haven't even thought about makeup. Like usually I'm, you know, I love looking on Look Fantastic. I love looking on Beauty Bay. I love looking on the Revolution website. And that was the first week in ages I haven't looked on any makeup shopping sites. And now it feels good to be back into it because it's made me realize, oh no, I've actually missed this. Um, so I was ready to get back. I'm gonna go in the crease now. I'm gonna go with Bakes and Love. If you haven't been to Whitby and you love holidays with walking in, cute little shops, cute little cobble streets, knick-knack shops, and you just wanna go for a weekend or so, I totally recommend going to Whitby. It's 
beautiful. Got a boat harbour. I don't know where I'm going next. I'm saving, well, me and Dan are both saving up for a big holiday next year. We're both saving up to go to Florida, but Disney World, I've never been. I've always wanted to go ever since I was young. Um, and I just want to experience it whilst I'm still young. <laughs> and I kind of want to go before I'm at that stage in my life where I have kids and kids cost a lot. So I want to do everything <laughs> before I have that chapter in my life. How is this chat going to chat a uh, kid talk? I don't even want kids right now. Like, come on. This brown is really nice in the crease. I really like the browns with blues at the minute. I don't know why I'm saying it in a minute because I haven't worn makeup in an absolute week and I feel a bit lost. I feel a bit lost in a minute with makeup. I think it's because I've been on holiday. I don't know what's popping because something comes out every single day when you look on trend mood. So I haven't even looked at trend mood. So I'm just like, what's popping? But yeah, I'd love to know if you guys have booked anywhere to go, even if it's just a weekend away. I'm planning on going on a spa trip with my mum in September because I actually have never done that with my mum before and I don't know I just want to do more things with my mum like mother and daughter. Spa trip just sounds like my cup of tea at the minute and I feel like I need it even though I've just had a very relaxing time but I want more relaxing times at the minute. I'm just here for it. I'm here for the relaxing times. This is so nice shade in the crease it just Blends out effortlessly. I'm gonna um, go around the edges a bit just to soften it with the shade Almonds. Sweep over. Okay, so let's try some blueness. Nom Nom, I always remember this shade. This, this shade is so nice. Even though I haven't been in this palette for such a long time, I know this shade performs very well. I don't know if it's gonna perform well still to this day. I'm gonna use my brush for this. Because I know it applies, it applies nice with a brush as well. It applies even better with your finger, but I'm just going to go with a brush today. If someone wanted a wearable look of this palette, um, I'm trying my best to make this wearable. Like, I'm using a lot of browns in the crease. Probably will go over with something else over the blue. Just so you can wear the blue multiple ways. Um, already, this looks nice. I'd probably even go in with a darker shade on top of the blue with with probably Divine or any of these darker shades here. Finishing Touch, Dazzling. So I'm gonna go grab Icing and I'm gonna use a fluffy brush for this. And I'm just gonna go over the edge of Nom Nom. Just a bit, just see if that does everything. <laughs> I hope this is wearable, I'd say it is wearable. I might go in with Divine just a touch with my finger and just tap it on a bit on the outer corner. Yeah, that does look nice. Just deepens it out even more. Makes it a bit extra smoky, you know? I like the look of Whisk, so I could go into Whisk a bit I shall put whisk on the inner corner a bit. Just a touch over the Nom Nom shade. Just to add a bit of goldness. So I'm just gonna replicate the colors and just put on the lower lash line. I'm gonna put a primer on now. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Pro Filter Primer. Even though I don't think I need it for this look because I feel all glowy anyway but i just like to <laughs> make use of my products so i've just gone in my brows so quick i used the abh dip brow pomade shade taupe and then i went in my benefit precisely my brow shade 3.5 i feel like i haven't done my brows today because i haven't done them in like a week <laughs> but to set them i used the w7 brow sickles gel which I'm loving it in a minute. I mentioned this in my favourites. I'm going to do this dead quick because I need to be out the door today. So I'm going to use the Pretty Little Thing foundation. I have the shades Golden Beige and Ivory Buff. I tend to mix these. I 
And then for my concealer, I'm going to use the Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Concealer. So what I took on holiday, I actually took this on holiday. I Did I use it? No. For my eyeshadow, I took the I Heart Revolution Mini Match Palettes, which are so cute and very travel friendly, but I didn't use them because I felt like I just wanted to get out the door. Um, and then I took, I definitely took and used my Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I use this every single morning without fail. And then I put on my SPF after. I took the most minimalistic makeup you could think. Um, and still, I still didn't use it. You know what? I probably will repurchase this. I'm quite surprised because I don't think I'd say that. I even took, you know what? I lie. I did use a product in the evening of it. I, I used the Charlotte Tilbury. I took this. I used the Charlotte Tilbury Sunkist glow bronzer shade fair and that i use this just to add some color to my face a bit of bronze and that's the only thing i've used maybe put a bit in my crease but and i probably used the fried egg mini match palette once i put a bit of brown in my crease but that was it and maybe a pop of shimmer a blush that i did attempt you know to take and wear was the l'oreal life's a peach but i never wore it um but i do love it so i'm gonna use it and then a highlighter i did take the love island uh, love yeah the, that sounded weird when i said that oh my god i had so much love island to catch up on I'm literally nearly caught up. I've got two nights worth to watch. This is the I highlighted with Revolution Love Island stun on. Uh, I didn't even think about it. I had a Love Island detox too. Uh, so many detoxes happening at the same time. It was amazing. Okay, so for lips, I'm gonna go with something new today. I said I would try it in my last video. This is the Beauty Bay Cream Lipstick Shade Suede. Um, looks lovely i'm gonna go with a lip liner too maybe with this so all my lip liners are dead light though i don't have any that matches the lipstick well this could match so this is the oh sadly these are going the revlon color stay long wear lip liner shade nude and i'm literally on the last nib I'm sad of Revlon are going, but at the same time, I'm not really surprised. I'm just gonna do that for now, lightly. So let's try some Beauty Bay lipstick. Oh wow. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like a ready tone. I probably will want to lighten this out. That is beautiful. Oh my God. Let me just get a tissue. I feel like my nan when I'm doing this. <laughs> this lipstick is beautiful. Creamy, but not overly creamy, which is good. So hopefully it doesn't slide off, but very comfortable. Wow. I might lighten it up a bit. Um, just by putting a bit of concealer in the middle. I don't know why, but I just like to do that. So I'm going to use this one because it's right in front of me. On the middle. Just to lighten it, but that is such a good lipstick. I recommend it. Beauty Bay, they've got these new cream lipsticks. Love. So I'm pretty much done. I'm just going to put my mascara on. Um... I did take a mascara with me to Whitby. Did I use it? No. <laughs> uh, I took the I Heart Revolution Tasty Coconut. Someone did actually request me, oh, um, post a video of all the makeup that you took. There would be no point. I'd be lying to myself. Like, yeah, I took all this, but I didn't wear it. Does anyone do that? Did they like pack her makeup um, to somewhere and they just hardly wore it? Um, that, that was definitely me moment. And I kind of regret it because I wasted so much room on my bag. No, it was only one bag. It, I'm being dramatic. Honestly, it was hardly anything. Hardly anything worth filming. Anyway, 
Oh, another thing that I did take a lot, um, a lot of stuff was lip balms and because I wanted to keep my lips moisturised whilst I was in the weather. My lip SPF. Lip SPF is super important. Wear your lip SPF. Wear all your SPF. And we're pretty much done in here. I'm ready to go about with my day. I uh, don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna add some spray. Morphe continuous spray. You know, just in case we're doing something strenuous. No, we're not, I'm not doing anything too much today, trust me. So, that is me done. Um, I'm not gonna do too much to my hair. I'm just gonna have it out of my face. Here is a look. I hope this is wearable. What should not be wearable now? I'd think this is wearable. I'd go out like this. So, Macaroons palette. It was nice to hop back into this palette. It throw back, proper throw back, because I've had this for like so many years. Probably just at the start, like realm of my YouTube journey. Um, it came out with the Cotton Candy palette, the Lemon Drizzle, uh, Lemon Drizzler, Lemon Drizzle, and the Galactic palette. I think that was about it. I could be missing something else, but yeah. A really nice palette and I would say this is definitely a palette if you want to include some blue and greens but in a wearable way because it is quite toned down. So yeah, really nice and I still stand by my opinion on this. I think they're pigmented, I think they applied on nice, even applied on nice with a brush. I didn't have to go on my finger much, um, they blended well, nice together. They've got plenty of depth shades in here so you can make it quite smoky. This is like a smoky eyeshadow palette look but also you could wear it quite lightweight. That lipstick is the highlight of the video too. Really like it. Definitely recommend it. I think it was like, I think it was six pounds. I can't remember, but I definitely recommend it. I know it's not, it's full potential at the minute because I put concealer on, but that was a bit, just a bit too much. Just wanted it a bit subtler. But yeah, that is my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this somewhat useful. If you've, if you yourself got the macaroons palette, is it macaroons or macarons? Because I don't know at this point. I've had it for so long and I'm still probably butchering it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go now. If you did like this video, do give it a big thumbs up, which will help my channel out. And of course, if you don't wanna miss out on my next video, hopefully I've got an empties video coming soon. So that can be good to see if you wanna know what I've used up and basically what's in my bin. Um, yeah, so yeah, <laughs> turn on the notification for that if you wanna know. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. Now it's time watching this and I shall see you in the next one.